What is your thing? It's always good to double check and hold. Good, right. And we're back between two Yetis and we're here at the LMC Open House, January 8th, 2020. 2020. And you're my second. Everyone keeps calling people who come on as the Yetis victims, but. <laughs> I'm leaving now. <laughs> Greg. Tara, tara, oh. Taraglio. Taraglio. Where's that from? Uh, Is that Italian? Sicily. Italian, yeah. Ah, nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> My name's Lee. Hi, Lee. So, you, what do you do? Uh, I am the managing member for Majesty Yachts USA. We build super yachts from 100 to 175. Does that mean you're a yacht broker? I am a yacht broker as well, yeah. Okay. I do own a, a small marina in Stewart, Florida. Is that what this is? Yes, Sovereign, yeah. And so this is amazing. They, every yacht broker has their own individual company because you're all subcontractors? Yes, most are. All my guys are independent contractors. Yeah, yep. Ah. But you specialize in Majesty? Well, Sovereign and Majesty are two separate companies. So um, Sovereign, we sell the new Lexus 65, Oh! Carver, oh, right. Marquis, okay. yep. Contender, and Regulator. And now Majesty Yachts USA is selling Majesty Yachts in the US. So the 140 behind us is hull number three. I don't know if you can see that. But it's the first boat that First Majesty ever brought to the United States of America. Is it? Yes. It's amazing. It's such a strong brand in the rest of the world. Yep. But it's the first one. <laughs> hull, number, hull, hull number three of the 140 and hull number... Uh, Six of the 100, and we already wow. delivered hole number six, so we're waiting on uh, the next guy for the hole number three of the 140. So where are you from? Um, I live in Stewart. From Stewart or yeah. live there? Well, I, I'm, I was born in New York. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I left when I was five years old. And so you're a tro proper Sicilian New York family? Yes, for sure. Ah, okay. <laughs> but why, why, can't, why did you come down to Florida? Um, my family moved us here, and we went and we moved to Merritt Island, uh, Cocoa Beach area. Okay. And uh, I was brought up there and surfed a lot and goofed off a lot and boated a lot and <laughs> realized that it's how I wanted to spend my life. So how did you become a yacht broker? Well, I, I dropped out of high school. Naturally. And, yep. and um, I went to work for Sea Ray Boats as a carpet cutter. In the factory? At the factory in Merritt Island. And um, I stayed there for 13 years. When I left, I was assembly manager of the yacht division. So I, I had a very good understanding of how boats go, are, are assembled. Yeah. And I had an opportunity to go to work for a very large dealer. And I accepted the position. And that was in Stewart, where I still am today. And um, having the background of building the boats helps me a lot in selling the boats. I've always said this. Surely it makes sense if you know how things are put together and it helps you know the boats. Totally, totally. Yeah. I mean, you, you get an eye for quality, you get an eye for things that might not be so quality oriented. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely beneficial, it's helped now, me a lot. The thing is, and, and I've always, not always, but I'm starting to get to a point where looking down at certain boat brands is a bad, bad idea. Because obviously there's varying qualities. You've got Fedship at the top, which we can all acknowledge is very good. Yep. Not necessarily the best, very good. And then you've got people down this end. But it's just like the car industry. It's, you know, it's for different boaters at different stages. Different levels. They're coming. Different levels. Yep. So never, look, never, never, I, I always say to people, never be dismissive of a lesser brand because it suits a specific market. Yeah, and, and, and the, other, the other avenue to that is that people come, become complacent and then the other brand has some, they can catch some ground. You know, they, they, before you know it, you're competing with a brand maybe you didn't compete with before. Um, so, you know. Well, some of the brands you do on Sovereign then are really contender. Contender. And contender's been up and down. It was the top, and then it was. They're back. Down, they're back. back and they're back up. Regu <laughs> regulator, which is, is yeah. a, a magnificent center console, um, and then yeah. Carver Marquis. They've been through some. They've been up and down for sure. Um, now the Lexus is a marquee, right? Well, the Lexus is a division of marquee, so it's built at the marquee factory in Wisconsin, um, but it is a separate division. So yeah. um, the Toyota people are actually building the boats with the marquee people in Wisconsin. Just fill your hands. 
Are these working man's hands? Oh, they've got, <laughs> they, they used to be. They've got <laughs> soft in the ears. <laughs> they have. They have indeed. Carpet fitters are normally... Yeah, no, man, that, that was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Do you miss those days, though? You know, I do. Um, I built a lot of relationships at Sea Ray, and throughout the years, um, the really good ones, I've still, I'm like, some Is of my like best back friends. In the yeah, I was, yeah. Yep. So this was like at the peak, when they yeah. had Bayliner and all, all the yeah. lines. Yep. Yep. Wow. Yep. One of my uh, one of my best friends is Rob Parmentier, who was the president of Siri for many years, and now he runs Marquee Carver and Lexus, and uh, he's still like, you know, I talk to him five times a day, you know. And so <laughs> it's that, it's that relationship that we built over <laughs> over I don't even want to say thirty years, but it's probably thirty some odd years. What is it about this industry then that you really, you know, like? to me it's a lifestyle. You know, um, I boat. I boat. Every weekend I, I'm on the water. What do you have? I have a 41 regulator with quad 425 Naturally. Yamahas. Um, and it's it gets me where I want to go. It gets me there fast. If I want to fish, I fish. If I want a sandbar, I sandbar. And I mean, it, it's it's just the lifestyle. And and um, getting into the super yacht business is, is a whole other elevation of, li of lifestyle. So this is your first taste of... So I've been big working. Boat. Yeah, I've been working with Majesty for about eight years um, in bringing the product into the United States. It's taken that long. Yeah. Wow. And um, now we just, like I said, Fort Lauderdale Boat Show was our our debut, <laughs> and the 140 again behind us. We got best in show. So that. Oh, was that the NBC thing? Yes. Ah, yep. all right. Yep. So we have the award on board, and it's it's a neat, heavy award, and. We we didn't expect it, but it was a uh, <laughs> you know it kind of kind of sucked. You didn't pay anybody for that. No, no, no. Oh, right, we, okay. We just got them drunk. No I'm kidding. <laughs> um, it kind of sucked because our competition was the '65 Lexus and the new '42 Marquis. So one of so them. So I'm, I'm like competing against other brands that I sold, but it, it you know I'm 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 happy with the result. So yeah. It's it's uh it's been a, a neat ride so far. Now we're in the FTZ zone. Yes. Is the boat registered? No. Well, no, it's it on, it it on dealer plates. Is that what you call yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, kind of. I guess that's that's how it would be called. Um, you know, that's what this zone is created to do: is allow um, boats that are built outside the United States to sit here and to be shown and run and go to boat shows mm. until they're sold, and then let the new owner register where he deems is necessary. That, was the FTC zone then one of the main? Was it a component of bringing Majesty in? Um, no, it didn't have anything to do with bringing Majesty in. It had to do with bringing Majesty here. Um, you know, this is a great facility and yeah. known worldwide. And it's one of two free trade zones that are uh, actually, that I know of, in Florida. And uh, the, these guys have been wonderful. So I, I'm, I, I, I'm happy I, I, to be I here. always do this. This is a working yard. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> yep. Amazing. First class, for yeah. sure. For sure. Pleasure to meet you, sir. It's been my pleasure. And uh, we'll see you around on the docks. Thank you so much, man. Have a great night. Cool. See you, Ray.